in the West here is that you're right, we don't have very many lines. We have spent the last 50 or 60 years trying to eradicate those. The funny thing is though, the lines that we don't, we can't cross, for instance, I had a horror novel published by St. Martin's Press where I could kill all the children I wanted to, but if I killed the dog, then then they wouldn't publish it. I don't know if it's a choice. <laughs> For me, I think it just, it happens, you know, there's something that excites me in some way or interests me and I want to pursue it. Um, that's just who I am. And everybody's different. Everybody writes different types of horror. Yeah. Know, or the three of us anyway. <laughs> An idea, an idea or a character will come to me and I will just have to flesh out that, that idea or character. I mean, um, I, I ingest a lot of pop culture. I, I, I pay attention to everything I possibly can because I know that something is going to stick and something is going to make me excited. And that's how I get my story ideas. And it's not one particular style. It's it's really, gosh, it's all styles. I mean, I've had science fiction stories, romance novels. I mean, the whole the whole thing, because I just like to write characters and put them in interesting and unique situations. Yeah, and for me, I mean, certainly when I'm writing a horror story, I always think what is the worst possible thing that could happen to this person in this moment and that's usually where the story has to go and then as far as as style of the story i think that's by the the time that you set the story in and um which particular subgenre it is if it's a gothic subgenre something like that then that affects it affects how you write the story a lot um but yeah uh, if you're drawn to thinking about the things that scare you or the things that worry you about the world, and then you can you can go to the dark place with it if you want to. You know, I, I always tell my students, um, my teaching in college and, and when I'm at seminars, I just say, just write. And whatever comes out is going to be brilliant. Yeah, and I started with... Um, writing more literary kind of stories and things like that. But I found it really um, not not fun at the time. I, and I compelled to write, and I think I was kind of forcing myself to write something that wasn't true to what the stories were that I wanted to tell. So one story, I said, you know, this story would be better if I killed everybody in it. And it was way better, and um, and I sold that one to Cemetery Dance, and that was, you know, my first big sale, and and ever since then, I mean, I still cross over. I write some science fiction. I do now. I do again write some literary, literary stories and things like that. But um, the the horror is just more fun to write. Following what Erin just said, um, I had started out writing, I guess what you call literary stories, and I didn't have, a, it wasn't a thought, it just went that way. It wasn't me saying, oh, I'm going to write literary stories, it just went that way. And uh, I had a little bit of success with it, uh, but I ended up writing a story that was um, a runner-up in a newspaper contest, so it was published in the newspaper. And, uh, and as I read the story, <laughs> which was kind of about incest. I'm reading it and I'm thinking, this is really a horror story. 